welcome to arc tutorials first of all thank you so much for giving so much love support encouragement and feedback on all my playlist on the channel a lot of you have been writing to me in the comments in emails asking me if i can cover the entire client side languages for you which includes html css javascript react and i promise to do that from today i'm starting brand new series multiple series on this channel which will help you learn all the front end technologies under one channel in arc tutorials that being said let's start html full tutorial series for absolute beginners and this is part 1 of the series all right so before i start with html i would like to address some of the frequently asked questions that i get in emails or in the comments the first uh, very most thing that i hear in every now and then is html is very tough right and trust me it is not if you have learned any programming languages in your school uh, college or some boot boot camps etc html is very very simpler to compare to those languages the next thing i hear is i am a fresher i am an experienced person with 10 years of experience 5 years of experience in java dot net can i learn html yes you can like i said html is very very independent language it's a markup language not a programming language and because of which it makes it very easy for anybody to quickly learn implement and become a full stack developer or even for that matter if you are looking for career change you can still go for it do i need to be great in programming to learn html no absolutely not html is totally different than regular programming languages and hence you don't have to have at all uh, any programming knowledge at all even to learn html but if you have some it would only help you further down the line working with javascript or react but to start with to learn html css to become a ui developer you do not need to be great or you don't even have to know any programming knowledge the next thing i hear is a lot of people want to become full stack developer should they learn html is their question in their mind absolutely yes not only html you need to learn html css and javascript if you are looking to become a full stack developer now full stack developer can be on any platform but client side you will need these technologies html css javascript um, these are all the basic things that you will definitely need to become a full stack developer how long does it take to learn html uh, depending upon the number of time uh, the amount of time you spend in learning and in practicing i would do get somewhere around 2 to 3 weeks solid um, and then you can easily learn and pick up html i have seen people do it in less than one week also provided they put 8 hours per day learning if you are willing to if you are, if you want to learn really quick you need to put in that hours and that effort as well so you plan accordingly but i would say anywhere close to 2 to 3 weeks should be good to learn html do you have any system requirements to run html absolutely not whatever system you have it would work a laptop basically if you are watching this video on a mobile probably you might want to move to a laptop desktop or a some system which has a browser and a notepad a basic uh, editor right those are the two things that you need to learn and run html i hope i have answered most of the frequently asked questions that i get but if you still have any questions if in this journey feel free to always reach out to me in comment section or write to me at surya.aradhya@gmail.com i would be more than happy to help you on a right career path with that being said let's get started with html okay all right so let's start with some of the basic stuff first what is html okay html is the standard markup language for creating web pages now what is a markup language anything that we write in tags right open triangle bracket close uh, those are called markup languages so there are two markup languages one is html one is xml right but if you see a lot of tags or components in react or in angular you also write markups right attributes or elements will not go there but as for beginner i'll keep this focused i'll take you step by step to advanced for today all you should understand is what is html html is the standard markup language for creating web pages what does html stand for html stands for hypertext markup language okay now mind it 
that it is not a programming language it's a markup language okay we will see how and why it is called markup language HTML describes the structure of web page okay now I'll talk about a simple web page called google.com right when you go to google.com you'll see few links and an input text box to enter a search criteria that is the structure of the page that means it has few links it has one input where you can enter some data that's all the structure how it looks is the CSS okay that is the style sheet that also I'm starting make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get that notification of the playlist as well HTML consists of series of elements now elements is nothing but whatever you see in a web page okay whatever you see in a web page is an element think of it that way a link it can be a link which you can click it can be a button it can be a list it can be a form it can be an image anything that's all elements in HTML HTML elements tells the browser how to display the content okay what content to display is what the HTML tells now some of the important thing that you should know most of the HTML pages will have an extension dot HTML okay however as for URL somewhere you will not see HTML because it's configured that way but for your understanding uh, for now for today understand that all the all the extra all the pages that we will create will have an extension ending with dot HTML it's very simple and easy to learn okay you need a little bit of practice you practice along with me when I code you code and you will be able to learn and like I said I'll promise I promise that I'll teach you everything from basic to advanced for you to succeed for you to learn just stay with me don't go too aggressive I will take you there step by step as needed but today's episode just understand basic concept nothing else okay so what do you need to start coding right now uh, this is a question a lot of people have in mind uh, what are there any special editors are there any special things to code most of it I would recommend you start using Visual Studio code that's the name of the editor that I use and I encourage everybody to use it as well once you download you should see something like this okay now this is uh, the editor that you would see and you can create your own folders you can create your own uh, you know everything that you want basically uh, it's just like any other editor you can create a new folder and say HTML tutorial okay I'm creating a new folder and that's it now inside this folder you can create a new uh, say index.html okay so like I said this index is the name of the page and dot HTML is the extension okay now if you should you give index every time no you can give any name of your choice it can be home it can be about us it can be contact us anything okay but for now to start with I would say just give index.html okay I'll tell you the reason also why as we progress for now just stay at this create a file called index.html that's all okay the other options for editors are you can use IntelliSense you can use notepad you can use sublime Ed text editor any editor of your choice there is no restriction but I will be using Visual Studio code and that's free you can also download it install it now what browsers do you need now HTML works and runs on all the browsers Safari Google Chrome Edge Firefox Brave because these are all client side it will run in your browser okay so any browser is fine I'll I'll mostly be showing you examples on Chrome or for Safari since I have Mac okay but you it will work the same way in Edge Firefox Brave there will not be any difference okay so that's all you should know and in the next episode we will start coding for basics of HTML we'll start learning we'll start coding I'm sure you're excited I'm sure you are eager to learn which I will make sure that you will learn and master HTML with me. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. As always, I thank you for your support, your love and encouragement on this channel. Let's learn and let's grow together. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.